My name is Bruno Sade from runosade.com. Today I want to talk about an important difference between a belief such as there's something wrong with me and a passing thought. To understand this difference, we must first define what a belief is. More than a passing thought, a belief is a conviction that you hold to be true and that carries an emotional weight. This emotional weight is what makes beliefs so powerful, often dictating our behavior. In contrast, a thought is a passing idea or opinion that crosses our mind. Thoughts may or may not carry emotional weight, and they come and go without necessarily having a long-lasting impact on us. The main distinction between thoughts and beliefs lies in the emotional charge. The stronger the emotion attached, the more a belief is cemented in our minds. This emotional charge is experienced as a physical sensation in the body. For example, maybe you feel it in your throat, your chest, your belly. Without these physical sensations and emotional charge, the belief would lose its grip over us and would resemble a passing thought. That's why it's not so easy to just stop thinking there's something wrong with you if that's a deeply held belief that you have. The emotional charge attached to that belief is what keeps it firmly cemented to your mind, making it hard to let go of. In contrast, consider the thought, a meteor could come in and destroy my home at this very moment. If that thought doesn't carry any emotional charge, it becomes easy to let it pass by, just like a fleeting cloud in the sky. With emotional freedom techniques, EFT, we can work to lessen and release that physical sensation and emotional charge. By doing so, the belief loses its weight and becomes more akin to a passing thought or a passing cloud. Therefore, it becomes easier to let go of and it drips out of mind. So EFT can be useful in addressing these deeply held beliefs so as to clear these heavy clouds of emotionally charged beliefs. And we do so by tapping on some of the related emotionally charged memories that support that belief as being true. Some of these memories we can work on by ourselves and others, if they are too emotionally intense, traumatic or overwhelming, are best work on with the help of a certified EFT practitioner such as myself or someone else. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful and I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.